Hey guys, it's Cole, and welcome to the condensed summary of all of the brand new Dawn Trail news that came in the Final Fantasy XIV PAX panel. In this video, I'm going to be focused purely on the new information about Dawn Trail. However, they did a beautiful recap of past expansions in the history of the game for anyone who wants to go back and watch it. I definitely recommend it. So the first thing that they laid out was a groundwork of the future goals for the future of the game. The first thing is that they want a more refined multiplayer gameplay experience. They stated that they made Endwalker extremely welcoming to players and that they do plan to make things a little bit more difficult. The second thing is that for Dawn Trail, they're going to make sure that there's going to be more large scale duties. Think things like Eureka and Boja. And for me personally, that is incredibly huge because I love those forms of content so much. So that is like amazing news. But for anyone who is like super duper into smaller scale content, which I'm trying to get into right now, like Variant and Criterion Dungeons, they are looking at making that content still, but making it more like in parallel with the bigger scale like Boja. So overall, more content, which is a huge win for me and the rest of the players. And thirdly, they were looking at having us have a more fulfilling gaming experience. They also brought up one example of bosses having an incredibly like large hitbox size, and this is all tied into like fulfilling gameplay experience and they also brought up that a lot of mechanics in Final Fantasy 14 can seem really repetitive like we all know what a stack marker is well unless you're a sprout and then you run away with the stack marker and then go boom but Yoshi P was bringing up on stage that it can seem a little repetitive and so him and the rest of the dev team are looking at spicing up things a little bit that way Yoshi P then said that the knee-jerk reaction may be concern, but that he's trying to make the game, like, too difficult or something like that. Like, if anyone remembers Gordius, he's not trying to do that to the game. But then he's trying to reintroduce a level of excitement and risk to the game. Then they brought up jobs and job changes, and in this vein, they stated that they don't want to inherently make jobs so radically differently, like shift the difficulty into the jobs and their rotation, but they want to shift the difficulty into like the content itself. But jobs will definitely be getting an update to their skills coming into Dawn Trail, especially with the level cap being raised to 100. In return though, for making the content a little bit difficult, they did say that they wanted to like do a reward structure revamp for content and improve the rewards that players can get from content. They stated that they plan for about patch 7.3 to expand rewards by approximately 1.5 times. Before they arrived at more news about Dawn Trail, they did quickly summarize that we have new jobs, new areas, new raids, new threats, cosmic exploration, and more that they put really quickly on the slides. Which, if you want summaries that I've already done in depth when they first announced this content, I'm going to put that in the description. So if you want to check that out, super duper supports the channel. I would definitely appreciate it. And that is where you can get all the news where I did a summary on all of those. This led into the release date which of Dawn Trail, which is going to be on June 28th for early access, which will then be officially released on July 2nd. I'm not even going to lie, that is a lot sooner than I was expecting. So, that's actually kind of crazy to me. Oh my god, I I need to shift a few things around, oh god. <laughs> With the announcement of the release date, they then spoke about the physical collector's edition for Dawn Trail expansion, which includes a physical viper statue, a physical map of the realm, and then a physical unending journey journal book, as well as what they called like a pen case. I have like about a billion different things that I think that I could actually put into this. I think it looks really cool. Honestly, I think that I'd be worried about putting a pen in there because I really want to want to mark it up. But like maybe if it had like a cap, yeah, maybe if it had a cap, but oh God, I, I just think it looks cool. Now for the digital collector's edition items, which includes the brand new mount named Ark, we're also going to be like, I mean, let me say about that. like. Is it pretty much like a reskinned cruise chaser? Yes, it is. But I also think that that is super cool looking and I actually think Ark is such a neat, like completely freaking cool, cool mount. I really love it. But on top of that, we're also getting a wind up Garnet minion and then a Pictomancer Chocobo brush, which is awesome. It's so funny. Like I still have like the red mage one in my glamour dresser and everything. It's just awesome. I love it. Now, in terms of how to buy Dawn Trail, it like the collector's edition includes the physical game goods and the in-game items. The collector's box is just the physical items. Then the digital collector's edition is the in-game items and then the in-game like rewards without the physical items. And then the standard edition is literally just the expansion. 
separate from these like collector's edition purchases is that there are pre-order bonuses which include the wind up zidane minion which a lot of us suspected was a part of like the new job viper like the new viper jobs inspiration and i think that this pretty much confirms it and then we have the azimia's earrings there are lots of final fantasy 9 references like solution 9 zidane and such this this definitely feels like a lot of Final Fantasy IX inspiration here, which is kind of freaking cool. Pre-orders do begin on March 26th of 2024, which is literally in a few days. So there are a few different times listed here for different regions, I guess. But for Steam users, they specifically stated that pre-orders will begin at the set time of 9 o'clock a.m. PDT. But it seems that aside from that, that they seem to be going region by region. So I definitely pay attention to these times. With the new expansion and the graphics updates, they did state, however, that they needed to bump up the minimum system requirements for a bit stronger specs, just to support things like the graphics overhaul, the update, like the increase of density of like the different foliages and like stuff. Like if you've looked at any of the past like Dawn Trail footage, like you can see that like, hey, the world is just a bit more fleshed out and stuff. And so I a hundred million billion trillion gazillion percent can understand that um again if you want to like check out like past coverage that i already did on my channel um i don't want to bloat this video too much past eight minutes uh the eight minutes seems to be the sweet spot for people um definitely check out it's going to be in the description my past coverage of things like the fan fest keynote and stuff like that definitely check it out but if you look at that it definitely makes 100 percent sense why the minimum specs were raised quite a bit and truthfully i think it looks honestly beautiful um, like I, I, I actually was kind of blown away with something about so I'm like, wait, what? This, this is my Final Fantasy 4 I'm like, what? They also didn't state outright how large the expansion will be, likely because they're still working on it. But they did state that the expansion will be quite large. Again, I just am relaying the warning that they gave us. Um, I don't really have any insight into how much that is. Is it 40 gigabytes? Is it 20 gigabytes? I have no idea. Next up, they announced that the Final Fantasy 16 crossover event will be coming on Tuesday, April 2nd and running until May 8th of this year. And we already know that there's an incredible set of Torgal rewards, a Clive Outfit Glamour, and so this is absolutely a huge and legendary reward set that you don't want to miss. I am absolutely in love with the Torgal stuff. Like the mount, the outfit of Clive, it, it is just right up my alley, and so this is going to be an event that I... I, I absolutely am really excited to see what they do. I also haven't played Final Fantasy 16 yet. I'm still waiting for it to come out on the PC. Arg! But soon, soon, I hope. Finally, they did state that they plan to do follow-up showcases in April to show stuff like actual live in-game footage in April, like of like the graphics overhaul. And so there will be a little bit more time until things like the benchmark and job action trailer are shown. With that, everyone, I hope that you appreciated the summary. And if you want to help support me, I would super duper appreciate if you dropped a whole ton of Torgal stuff on that like button because Torgal's freaking cute. I, I, I haven't even played 16 and I just love the dog. I am such a dog person. I'm like, ah, I just, oh my god, I love him. But aside from that, also, if you would cat daddy that subscribe button. Take care, everyone. I hope that you have a lovely weekend.